How do recruiters read your resume? You have 10 seconds to impress them and I'll show you exactly what to do. Hello, success partners in crime. I'm Brianna Rooney, your millionaire recruiter, and welcome to my fancy little home office and definitely check out my chair urban home right here it's my new purchase i'm pretty excited about it okay so what i wanted to get into is how recruiters read your resume how do you come across remember your resume is the vessel that gets you to where you want to go which is the interview and i deal with this all the time remember i i do engineers so it's a, you know everything is slightly different depending on what industry and field you're in but the grand scheme of things is a resume is a resume and you need to know exactly how you can get looked at because i've got a crazy stat for you i'm sure you've noticed if you don't go through recruiters which shame on you but i'm sure you noticed that you're sending through what's called an ats an applicant tracking system so Poof, it goes off into the internet and only 3% of resumes people get back to you, or the companies get back to you because that's how crappy resumes are. Like that's really sad. Actually, that's why I have a job. So that's great. Um, so here's the main problems. If you're looking down, thinking about your experience, and you can't yet get it on paper. Let me help you out. First of all, if your resume is three pages or more, I could even argue two pages or more, it's too long. It needs to be precise and to the point. What do you do? Okay, so let, let, let's start, let's just do this like format. Name, contact, great. Don't put your birth date on there, we don't need to know. Uh, and then we're gonna do either summary or objective. Technically, they're the same thing and that shouldn't be longer than one to two sentences and that's what do you do? Again, what do you do? Not, I'm passionate and I'm motivated and, and everybody likes me. No. Although, you know, you can put passion and stuff, that's great. That's not, that's not straight into the point. Then, if you went to a, one of like the top schools, 25, 50, um, you know, top schools in your field, and I know you know if you did, put it at the top, minus your GPA. Relevant. Otherwise, great accomplishment, let's put that at the bottom, okay? Then you're gonna do skills. And again, this isn't personal skills. This is like legit skills for your industry to get this job. Look at the job description, look at that job that you want, and kind of mirror off of that. Look to what you'd be doing in that job, and if you have those skills, put that on there. Again, short and sweet, to the point. Right after that, you're gonna put your work experience. Now here's something funny, but I'm gonna to touch on this because I've seen people do this wrong. People will put their last, I mean like literally like job far away, like five, six years ago up at the top. No, chronological order of the most recent jobs, please. And if you wanna do one line at the bottom with your passions, just to say like, hey, I'm human and this is what I think is cool, go for it, but just real quick and only really if you have room. Okay, so that's the normal format. You want to use your actual accomplishments. Again, no fluff, use numbers. For example, let's just say you were a manager of a team. You, ma you managed 20 people. You had this, this X amount of budget. That was your accomplishment. That's what you did. Okay, wonderful. You don't want to just say, um, oh my gosh, I'm, uh, I, uh, everyone likes me at work and I can type really well. Okay, no. You want to type really well, you see how many words per minute if it's applicable to the job that you are applying for, okay? Highlight the big things. No pictures, no graphs, no boxes on there, weird lines. Um, no, use the same font, please. What we use at Techies, and do whatever you want. We like to do the Calibre, size font is 11. Everything's over to the left. That makes it look just nice and crisp. Again, no colors, no fancy thing, no stars, no weird bullet points, All right? Get it straight to the point. This is what people are gonna be looking at, and here you go. We're gonna be looking at your resume. Recruiters read your resume for about three to 15 seconds. Three maybe is a little crazy, maybe about six seconds, and then they move on. So recruiters read your resume very quickly. 
they skim, they look for the certain skills. Even companies do that. Even the higher ups, the hiring managers use this knowledge. And you know what? I would love to help you out. Like I said, I do engineering, but if you're in a different field and you have other questions, hey, comment below. I would love to respond. I would love to help you out with your resume. Let's connect on LinkedIn. Um, that's always my biggest vessel, which by the way, well, that's a whole other subject, but LinkedIn should also be a cool resume for you. And we will do something like that. So I would love for you guys to subscribe, like, and ask anything. I want to know and if you're a recruiter, by the way, watching this, I want to know what the, what did I miss? Uh, all right. I will talk to you guys soon. Have an awesome day.